Howdy, friends. Uh, welcome back to uh, uh, Twitch stream of uh, L5R, Legend of the Five Rings, a fantasy flight games uh, here for the World Championship final round. Super exciting. We've got Johnny Shin on Scorpion yep. and Eric. You help me out with you. Yeah, do it right. Eric. I think it's Eric Bell Hewis. All right. Awesome. awesome. On Crane Dragon. Um, uh, Anil, you've actually played the most against uh, this, even though I just recently lost yeah, to yeah. it. Do you want to speak a, a little bit to Eric, some of Eric's choices here in his deck list while they're getting set up? So Eric is a... Uh, uh, he has his own style of, of playing the game. He actually plays his crane deck almost like a scorpion deck. So we're going to see both players jockeying for passing fate a lot. We're going to see uh, them basically buying very very lightly out of their dynasty until we see specifically Guest of Honor mm -hmm. or if Eric has the favor Kakita Yoshi. Sure, we'll sure. See, otherwise, we'll see small characters um, and conflict characters really determining a lot of things. Uh, Eric is actually on Dragon Splash for Let Goes, and he's playing a old faithful Mirror Moto's Fury. <laughs> Three Let Go, two Fury, you know, the splash from Core. Yeah. Now, something really interesting a lot of cranes that are choosing the Dragon Splash route for let go tend to favor policy debate because policy debate mm -hmm. is such a strong card very interesting that you see uh, Mirimoto's Fury here even that it's his restricted card and he's not even choosing to max it out only playing two that's really all he can play yeah. you know it's just uh, funny to see it kind of slotted in I think in core people just thought the Mirimoto's was so strong they yeah. just played three and, and then only two let go I think let go just being probably the obvious correct decision to take up to three for sure especially with Dragon Crab and Unicorn now being heavily represented at this tournament. Yeah. Uh, you really just need to be able to kill as many attachments as you can. Absolutely. Now, something that I did notice about the way that Eric plays is, yeah, as you are saying, banking a lot of fate. At one point in time in, in my game against him, he had like 14, 15 fate, and then passed his dynasty. And was like, alright, we're going to see probably three large buys out of out of his conflict hand. Uh, large buys, you know, like Menacing Ar uh, Iron War, Political Rival, uh, and Doji Famiki. Pol yep. Political Rival, we were just discussing, one of the more important cards in this matchup, because it's the only thing that can kind of innately block uh, Kachiko and then not get booted not home. Get, not get kicked out. Yeah. Uh, and so we also see this matchup here is going to be very playing for the favor. Sure, sure. Uh, Johnny is going to be trying to turn on his two censures and then deny favor from Eric, who has one censure, and then the powerful Kikita Yoshi, hmm. who, you know, the, the daimyo, right, the, the Kikita daimyo able to discard the Imperial favor, draw three cards, and, you know, reduce spells like Soul Beyond Reproach, right. another really important card in this matchup. And Conflict card. It's not spells uh, for, for listeners. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Events, yeah, I got events. events. Yeah, uh, conflict events specifically. Yeah, um, I too. Well, and and in this matchup, when you are Crane, you know it, it is. It's going to be very hard for Shin to break any provinces, so he'll still probably be looking at this honor as his primary win condition as he values out and grinds out you know, conflicts throughout the game. Um, but it will be inc uh, a kind of very difficult, I think, for for him to be able to do that. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, still be able to keep the honor kind of I think where he wants it basically the big the big uh, question mark is going to be how you know when does Eric see guest of honor how many a guest of honors does Eric see and can can Johnny navigate the turns where Gust of Honor is active? Yeah, I think that if you ever do see a Yoshi activation here, the game just swings wildly into uh, Eric's favor because that's just card draw that isn't costing him honor, and that's, that tends to be very debilitating uh, for the Scorpion player. Yes, for sure. And Crane uh, is actually just naturally hard to dishonor right. because their characters, when they leave play, have honored status. You know, Kalo, Delegate, Brash, Samurai, way, you know. And we do see Kalo and Brash, yeah. you know, here. Here, absolutely, and so we'll see. We'll see really what you know how, how it works out. Uh, Eric has three Lekos and two Mia Mystics to keep the clouds from Johnny away. Mm -hmm. Johnny only has two clouds, so in the past I've seen Johnny actually you know against three Leko just cycle those. Sure, with favorite niece, uh, just concede the fact that you know he's not going to be able to because in this matchup Johnny tries to use Kachiko as his uh, means of getting Guest of Honor out of battles. Yes. Um, he'll be wanting to keep his own Leko so he can get rid of ornate fans on Guest of Honor so he can still actually mm -hmm. kick them out with Kachiko. But Clouds, I could actually see him wanting to get rid of. Should he Should he get into a Kachiko, right? And so it looks like uh, Eric is going to be first player, and Sh uh, Shen flips uh, Ignoble Enforcers. Uh, I, I think uh, th there's a strong chance Shen may just buy this. Ignoble Enforcers is actually a, a new card from Underhand of the Empire, uh -huh. and it is a five cost, four, four, with one glory, Bushi, and it has a reaction when it enters play, uh, when you play it. 
Um, because you can't, like, ambush it. Right, uh, yeah. You have a reaction where you can lose up to three honor and put that much fate on it. Right. And so that's a way to lower your honor pool. So the Scorpion Stronghold is available. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a, just a big block of stats that the Scorpion doesn't normally have. Yeah, this early in the game. Yeah. And, it, and it leaves so much res so many and resources. We, and we and do that's see it. it. We do see it. We see a Cautious Scout with no fate from Eric. That's kind of like, I just really want to find your upholding authority, your secret cache, your shameful. A shameful activation whenever you are Crane early in the game tends to be very, uh, very, very good against you. So, you know, seeing a Cautious Scout here is probably fine. You don't put fate on it because it's just going to assassinate it anyway. With, uh... With uh, uh, Soul Beyond Approach, Shameful is not even the, that as, as bad as it, as it could have been that is true. in the past. He is only running two, though. We see, a, we see a lot of cranes running three. Yeah. He's only on two at this moment. So, I mean, you, you don't want to be in a position where you have to use it, right? You know, you use it because they're just going to dishonor your crap anyway with way of the score. So, I think, you, I think uh, Shen here is considering buying a manipulator because he wants to represent Forged Edict. Right. I like... So, something I really like about the way that Shen does this, whenever he has two of one card, he'll roll dice because he basically doesn't want to, like, represent any, sure. Yeah, there's no mind. Way. I'm not trying to mind game you. I yeah. don't care where you go. I don't want you to think that I care about where you go. Yeah. I just, I want you to know this is completely random. You have to make your own decisions, kind of a thing. So Johnny draws five, and so does Eric, and then Johnny increases his bid to six with the Bayushi manipulator. And then we're going to see the uh, City of the Open Hand steal one honor back from Eric. Yeah. And so basically, uh, you know, Johnny's going to make Eric pay for this uh, ignoble enforcers over the course of a couple turns. Yeah. Um, uh, now... Eric does have uh, six fate. It'll be interesting to see if he brings any conflict characters from his hand into the game. He hasn't drawn, you know, that many cards. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what what he, you know, does want to play here. He does have to be careful with um, Cautious Scout and conflict characters. If you attack Cautious Scout and say hit uh, Pilgrimage or Shameful, yeah, sure, you just can't even play anything. You just don't want to play a conflict character. Like, you, like that is something that can can you know blank your mind for for instance, where you're just like you know I want to win the conflict, right. conflict character, and then their conflict turns on or their province turns on. And you're like crap. What did I just do? Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes mistakes like that happen after playing a huge, you know, huge you know, day of gaming. You've been here since nine in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pass my first conflicts back to you. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still passing pre-conflict. So, okay. So pre-conflict passes. All right. Your conflict. We see, we see Eric making a conflict here. And now, you know, a lot of times, you know, we do see first players passing their first conflict. Eric does not have the opportunity to do that here. He needs to attack now or else he's just gonna opening himself up for an air or a water, water ring, ring or even just Johnny attacking in and just assassinating his guy, you know, and taking another ring. Looks like we're going to see an earth conflict here by Eric. Uh, Eric could, could have admit defeat, for instance. Sure, as as a one of. Yep, and, he, and he does and he does have it, and we, he sees pilgrimage. Uh, Cautious scout against pilgrimage is actually pretty awesome. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it actually allows you to resolve the ring effect even if you don't break because Cautious scout has this cool text box. He is a very cool text box, and we just see noble enforcers just stepping in the way. Yeah. I don't know if I like this because I mean one thing that Eric does have is he has a ton of military pump. You know, like he can he can he, he can has, get in. You don't want to. The thing is, Shen's basically saying you don't want to put swords on this guy, right? Right. Uh, Eric's not attacking fire. Mm. Not representing uh, noble sacrifice. Sure, sure. So that's that's a big a big thing. You don't want to get your enforcers noble sacrifice. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what Shen could be the most scared of on turn one. Hmm. So this doesn't represent that. If, if Eric goes and puts you know bonsai swords, Shen has this favorable ground. He can just leave. That's true. And just be like, you know what, you got me. So we see pass pass. And so so we got a scout off, and then uh, it does give a secret fate to Shen. So Shen's up to two. He does have a goblin sneak in his hand. That would give him a character to attack with, but you do you don't really want to. Uh, there's a province, a new province from Crane called Magistrate Station. Yeah, and it's it, you don't just want to poke into that because mm -hmm. Magistrate Station uh, one face up. Yeah, but uh, as a, a action that just says stand uh, or unbow an honored character. Yep. And if you're not able to break that, whenever you reveal it, it's just it makes poking into Crane a lot more dangerous than it used to be. Correct. Yeah, you can't just start scouting them because once Magistrate Station is face up, is a three strength province that for the rest of the game until broken is going to stand. A, already a character. Yeah. And, and we do see Johnny just attacking. And I think I would have just passed uh, here, but we do yeah. see him go into Shameful uh, Display. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Just Shameful Display. All right. That's that's not too bad for Scorpion. Um, it will be interesting to see if Johnny goes for a break, which character... Um, Eric decides to play in. Uh, as Crane, you really are very loath to just give up Shameful Display uh, this early in the game without any kind of fight. Um, 
but I think it would have to be like a... Iron uh, There we go. I was about to say it would have to be an, a, a menacing Iron Warrior, and that's exactly what we see come into play using all of Eric's available fate. And so, so uh, we get a clarification. Johnny asks him in the conflict, and Eric says yes, in the conflict. Okay. Uh, so he leaves. Um... Eric wins the ring. Yep. Because the menacing Iron Warriors are too menacing. Yeah. <laughs> and so, so Johnny's got, Johnny can just go political into Shameful here if he wants. Yes. Oh, he he passes a conflict actually. Yeah, just to get just to get favor. Just to get favor. Uh, yeah. He could have he could have gotten uh, he could have gotten a void ring there, right? Or maybe maybe he passes a conflict. Maybe Johnny passed a conflict. Like maybe we so maybe well he he didn't he oh yeah no, maybe, so, so maybe, maybe he maybe did pass his first, first one. right okay maybe yeah, both yeah, players yeah. pass first okay okay that would make the most sense otherwise I don't see why Johnny doesn't make an attack there your opponent has no fate I, I guess I mean maybe assassination court game something like oh, that oh sure whatever. sure uh, I I think it's more likely they both probably just pass first or something we yeah. just missed it although I really uh, that would be very odd for Eric to pass uh, it would make more sense uh, to Eric for if Eric had attacked yeah, first maybe and then Shin just wanted to guarantee pass. favor right court games would be an, a reason yeah 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Every, everyone everyone letting us know that we're we're dumb and uh, use box. Uh, Joe, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not true. Wait, he Th could, thanks, he, chat. Yeah, no, no, no. It still works. You attack him with Manipulator, right? And then you play your Ancient Master. You know, after no, Box you attack with a Manipulator and you hope your opponent forgets. <laughs> like we did. A vi yeah, yeah. A, viable, a viable strategy in my opinion. Everyone knows that the Crane Stronghold doesn't actually have any kind of actions on it. <laughs> Look, we, we play Dragon All Event. I don't think I ever had the Crane, the crane Stronghold get activated against me once. That card Because we passed attacks where it was. <laughs> no, I mean, we, our characters are so big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old chat. Good old chat. Thank, thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. And we see Hidden Moon Dojo. Uh, oh, that's... So, so, so uh, Chris, could you let, you know, let us know what this new card from, uh, you know, the Elemental Cycle, you know, re read this one out for the fans. You know, it's a, a crowd favorite, I'm sure. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, let me pull up the exact text, uh, because it is, it is lengthy, and we want to read exactly what it does here. So, uh, Hidden Moon Dojo. So, limit one per deck, of course. Zero province strength. It's a dojo as a trait, I yes, believe. Yes, I believe that's uh, a trait. You may play characters in adjacent provinces as if they were in your hand, and that is currently on a non-flipped over province right next to the pilgrimage that was attacked last turn. Action. During conflict, turn a card in an adjacent province uh, fla face up. So what what this allows Shin to do for the rest of the game is just pass. Well, as, 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 long, as, as, long as, as long as it stays unbroken. Yes. So so it is, it is on a middle province, which is the best the best spot for it to be. Mm -hmm. We do see a draw phase uh, play of the uh, Bayushi layer. Right. So right. Shin was first player there, and normally you would buy something there, but because he flipped in Moon Dojo, he immediately gets to take passing phase. Yeah, he, uh, at this at this point in time, Shin no longer has to interact with the dynasty phase in any meaningful way. Like he, you know, he's got a shoju over there. We see in this very pretty gold border of which he's playing. He's playing all he's three. Playing three. How about yeah. it? We, we've convinced um, him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we can take credit for that one for sure. Very nice. Um, and so, uh, it, you know, the, basically, it's only that far province. If ever anything is in that far province that he wants, he, you know, he'll have to buy during dynasty. But it's very unlikely that'll ever happen because nothing in the Scorpion Dynasty is is so important that it's better than just immediately taking passing fate. And because we, we were, you know, just to quickly note on this, we were talking about uh, Shen's Hidden Moon Dojo for so long. Eric actually slapped a very awkward flop with a cautious scout again and three holdings. Mm. So, I mean, he'll be able... This isn't exactly counter to his game plan because he does play so heavily from his fa from his conflict yeah. hand. Um, you know, just just taking a bunch of fate and conflict phase is fine. Um, he just really needs to find a way to get something honored so he can start playing yeah. um, uh, cancels favorably for himself because right now he is in danger of just like a few fate worse than deaths completely blowing him out of this game he just, he just really needs something to invest into like like yeah. so, and something to honor like you could invest this fate into a political rival here sure and it's just like not something you want to have be honored right you, you want guests of honor you know like smaller characters that honor themselves I like, mean like Iron, Menacing, Iron Menacing Warrior is a great target for, for being honored and to build up onto that's true but the problem is even honored is only three political y sure I mean like uh but against you know against fighting against ignoble enforcers, it's it's it, you know it, it's really good until a Kachiko hits the board, basically. Yeah. So it looks like we saw the water ring get claimed there. We saw uh, we actually saw a no block. It looks like from Eric, and because of the plus one holding strength 
from the Imperial Storehouse, Shannon was actually unable to break it. <laughs> or chose or chose not to. Right, right, right. He could have played maybe a conflict. Uh, uh, he would have had to play Kachigo. Because any, any other conflict characters can't break it. Sure, yeah. So it was, it was, the yeah, but he was at four to five. Yep, four yeah, to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old, good old Imperial Palace plus one holding streak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. good, good on, uh, good on Eric for not just tilting and immediately popping them for cards, right? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's just very common, right? During during draw stuff. Yeah, you just like start popping your storehouse. Yeah, you know? I like drawing cards. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, so nice for him to <laughs> not not tilt and just start popping those. Yeah, all we got place. Meg Meg Cake uh, Constant Imperial Powerhouse. That's right. <laughs> Hold, holding strength. Dude, not, it, not it, a, sa it saves provinces and yeah. gives you cards. A two for one. Uh, <laughs> Im Imperial storehouses saves lives. Uh, and so, what do you think Eric's going to do here with this with this Iron Warriors? It's going to be probably a military attack. Sure. I mean, you have to start putting pressure on the Hidden Moon. We we'll have to see what it is. Oh my. Have to see what it is. I, I'm telling you, if that thing is is, is over cash, it's, yeah. If, if it's over cash, like that's just so if bad. Over, if it's over upholding authority, it's actually really awkward. I'm fine. Dude, I mean, that's your best choice, though, no, right? No, no, no. I'm just saying that gives Eric a, a province to attack because he wants to attack it yeah. over and over. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. basically... And oh, for Shen, it's really awkward because yeah, he wants yeah, it yeah. to break, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's secret cash, oh, or, man. Or shameful. I mean, sh yeah. Sh shameful, I guess, you can counter with, with, with like, a soul beyond repression. Exactly. Card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to set that up. Yeah. But cash, cash is just killer. So he actually passed the tack here. He didn't want to apply yep. any pressure to the Hidden Moon Dojo. Can't say I, I definitely blame him. We see uh, a Goblin Sneak come in here, take a fade from Eric, and allows Shen to make a uh, attack to grab Fade Offerings, mm -hmm. and then not have to commit his large character. Yeah. Goblin Sneak, uh, when employed correctly, just applies just the right a little pressure and multiple kind of points, you know? Goblin like, Sneak really is that kind of just little poking guy poking you in the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> it just really is annoying. It's a <laughs> good old good old Goblin Sneak coming down, and he, he steals a fate from you, and then he's just like, I'm going to poke you now. Yeah. Um, we see Minusing Iron Wars coming in, and we see a wave of the crane. Okay. First action. So now... Uh, now Voice of Honors are on, Yep. Uh, so he does have some kind of protection uh, against basically just getting Fate Worse Than Death all over the place, which is nice, you know, you don't you, you don't want to see a finals game just end because a Scorpion player has it and Crane can't interact. Yeah, we see the Void Ring being contested here, and so a Fate Worse Than Death plus a Void Ring would actually uh, be able to clear this Menacing Iron Warriors off the board for pretty much no impact. Yeah. Now here's one of the things. Whenever whenever Crane doesn't have Guest of Honor in play, Scorpion gets to make all these kinds of little plays. Like, okay, you, your 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 guy is in the battle. We'll weigh the Scorpion. Are you gonna are you gonna waste the cancel on this? Yeah. You know. So, so we see Way of the Crane, and then we see the counter Way of the Scorpion. Yeah. Way of the Crane is honor a Crane character, and Way of the Scorpion is dishonor a non Scorpion character. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of cancel each other out. And the problem is that Eric doesn't have uh now his voice of honors are off. Yeah. So it's kind of a catch twenty two where do I use my voices to keep my other voices on. Yeah, it's, it's like it, just like a. It feels bad. It you does. don't want to do it. Um, and you know we see that he has two voice of honors in his hand. I think I also see a soul beyond reproach there. Um, I I don't think I would ever play soul beyond reproach in this matchup just for the one honor. Sure. No. Of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know that's most likely, or maybe it's not a soul. Maybe it's a Famiki. Let's see here. No, it's a soul. It's definitely a soul. I think. Yeah. Or maybe it's a Katana. We see Fate Worse Than Death, and this is so, so oh. unfortunate for Eric. Uh, if Eric is able to, uh, you know, stabilize, uh, stabilize, then we're going to, you know, we really need to see Guest of Honor for Eric to even come back, like, from this board position. Because, yeah. you know, the, Shen's going to get Passing Fate over and over, and then also... You know, he has a board right now. Yeah. And so if Eric's board wipes out here, we really need to see a strong dynasty turn from him coming in as first player. Yeah, the, the, the conflict cards, the conflict characters that he's been playing into his games that have given him so much equity in, like, his dragon matchups really isn't going to be get, getting him where he needs to go in this Scorpion matchup. He, he really just needs to flop a guest of honor uh, mm -hmm. more than more than anything else. Um, and that, in that respect, you can then honor your guest. Guest protects itself until it leaves the battle, yeah. and then now is just sitting at home honored. So now you can start voice of honoring things. That could actually, you know, help propel him back into this match. But it looks like um, Johnny does have a cloud in his hand already, actually. So that is something he could potentially, you know, pick fights over, keeping guests guests clouded. That's true. Uh, and and Johnny has gotten very fortunate with these with these province flips. Yes, has not flipped magistrate station. Didn't take any damage from shameful display when he attacked it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now has found Fertile Fields, which is, while being a fine province, is not on the same level as the other ones. Right. I mean, you know, he's he's definitely going to farm this for a while. Yeah. Um, and so Eric is going to 
Derek's going to draw cards, you know, like he, it, not having cards in his hand is not going to be a problem of Eric's. Uh, being able to fill up his board with, with uh, characters that are going to stick around, that's going to be the issue. Agreed. <laughs> we see we see Rega in chat saying, I'm so torn. Shen was my pick to win, but Crane is my clan. <laughs> Rega, don't worry. We love you still. No matter no matter what you do, we all love you. Um, you know, personally, um, you know, one thing that uh, you can, um, you know, say I, I've, I've, I've known, I've played against both of these players online uh, quite a bit. In I, person, too. I mean, Johnny, we play with him in person all the time. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Johnny lives in Texas. I live in Oklahoma. Anytime we're traveling down to Texas Cote, I get to play around with him a bunch beforehand. Oh, we see a Miro, a Miro's Fury here. Uh, the core, the core powerhouse card coming in here. And so, <laughs> I think that's a fine use of it. It really sucks, though, right? Like, yeah, but you you got to keep your your. You iron keep, yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to keep your Iron Warriors uh, alive here, and it's just so so aggressive. So you no, know, Johnny has Johnny can play um his Bayushi manipulator. Yeah, he can just play stuff out of his uh, out of his provinces. Yeah, 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 and that's what we're gonna see here, actually. So so this this Fury doesn't help him. This is this is another th another interaction that we haven't seen because Fury has been out of the meta. Right. Fury is really bad against Hidden Moon Dojo. It really so. is. That's insane. Um, huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something uh, that's an interaction I didn't I didn't think of I, and I, I think Eric has, is realizing it now too right like so so Eric you know that's another interaction that Eric, I don't think Eric has, has run into yet um so we, he's, you know, we see Eric thinking, what, what, what does he want to do? Hidden Moon Dojo, uh, you know, public opinion on it when it first was released was that it was, you know, a very reasonable limit one per deck. I think now we're starting to see that, you know, if you get this early in the game, you know, it has potential to be more powerful than Kanjo. You know, and, and in, my, in, my, in my very limited worldview, I actually think it's the most powerful limit one of holding in the game. Maybe limit even, one card. I think it's yeah. more powerful than Duty. I guess that's fair. I mean, it's just like, you know, maybe people try and say that Kanjo District has a higher ceiling. I don't even know if that's true, you know? Like, sh maybe even just the consistent value that you always get out of Hidden Moon Do maybe, Dojo is just better. Maybe maybe Kanjo District uh, against Hidden Moon Dojo on the side. Well, doesn't Hidden Moon Dojo actually just beat uh, Kanjo? Yeah. Because it's like, I kick your guy out of battle, just like what we're seeing here. Well, it's like, you know what, yeah. I'll play another guy in there. Well, Scorpion basically can't, like, can't break that. Usually it's really hard to break, a, like, a, a six-strength uh, province. So, like, yeah. not that matchup specifically, but, like, in terms of the cards, Hidden Moon Dojo, I think, is just like slowly rise and rise and rise and, or rose in you know people's expectations of it. Sure, sure. Well, if you're Scorpion, do you even ever need to to actually break Kanjo? It just kicks out a manipulator. You put another one in yeah, the battle, yeah. you know. And so we see the Enforcer still standing to claim favor, uh, along with the rings. And so the manipulator and the liar are gonna go away. Liar will draw a card, and we see the like, a Goblin Sneak sticking around. And Eric board, Eric's board wipes. Both players have four fate. Uh, Eric is on, looks like, eight honor from his, uh, on the board. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to see a stronghold activation. <coughs> so it looks like the honor totals are going to swap now. Shen is on eight, it looks like, and Eric will be on seven. Okay. After the, yeah, after the stronghold gets... Uh, yeah, I was, trying to, I was trying to read the little clicker there. And uh, so... We actually see Shen spend uh, and play the alibi artist in the fate phase of the Hidden Moon Dojo. Or uh, in the um, fate phase. So after yeah, you, yeah, after, the fate phase. Yeah, 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 after you after you wipe wipe your characters, uh, there's there's an action window. Yep. Uh, so Eric becomes first player. So Shen's just gonna get passing fate here. We see Brash Samurai. We see <laughs> <laughs> so he's turning over his propositions and he turned over Hidden Moon Dojo because he was just going down the road. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so so Shen's gonna pass, and we're gonna see Eric. Eric does not see Guest of Honor yet. Uh, you know. We keep we keep bringing this card up, but it's just so important in this matchup. Yeah, uh, we see a challenger coming out because it is a nice body to get honored, start putting things on, to start to rally behind. I would be surprised if he didn't even also buy the brash samurai, um, just to have something that self honors itself onto the table, making voice of honor. No, he decides to pass, uh, probably keeping fade up. I have to assume for a political rival, uh, you know, not many other reasons to try and keep uh, more than three fade. Oh no, 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 there we go. Okay, he doesn't pass. I misheard. So he spins two. He chooses not to fate the Brash Samurai. He, he so he can basically set, the, set up this Brash Samurai as a voice of honor, exactly. a voice of honor battery for one turn. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a quick charge. Yeah. You, you you honor him with its ability. You don't have to spend a card. Yeah. And then you get to, you get to use it. And we see. Presumably a five bid from both players. This and would be so much better if Eric were still second player, though. That way, you know, forcing an attack out of Shen so you can block, block yeah. turn him on, and then be able to do stuff. So now you can attack into Challenger, and it's a bit safer for you. Do you even want to assassinate and no favorite Samurai? If you're Shen? 
Yeah, like, like especially with Eric having stewards and Fumiki. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I I wouldn't have a problem with it. You're at eight, and if you're Shin, you're looking for random ways to drag your honor down anyway. That's fair. Like, you're not in any danger of being dishonored. Might as well kill the guy that'll give you a free dishonor. Force more card expenditure out of your opponent's hand. Uh, I do kind of, th I do see a, 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 a way of the crane uh, fishing its way to the top. Yep, they're on Challenger. We see it. Yep. So, voice is back on. Shen with about 20 cards in his hand. Eric uh, now granted the opportunity to play the game again. <laughs> well, 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 Eric could always play the game. Now Eric has a safety net, right? Yeah. Like, Eric, Eric can do something without feeling, oh, I'm just going to get crushed here. Sure. So, grabs two fate off of... Is that... What ring is this? So, we're missing... Uh, the air ring. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Uh, air, I think it's air. Because fire, I think, is right next to void. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So and it's it's time. He's going to bite the bullet. Let's yeah, see what it is. It's time to start putting pressure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. This, this is, is really good yeah. for the crane player. Yes. Best case scenario for Eric. Yeah. Absolute, absolute best case scenario for Eric. Um, you know, when you're, when you, I can tell you from playing from the crane's perspective, when you're playing a scorpion, you want upholding authority to break so bad so you can go out and you can you can fish out all of the, these cancels and make your matchup so much easier. But it does take away this huge advantage from you uh, from having Hidden Moon Dojo and this just ability to always have fate generation and you know, getting around covert, everything that Hidden Moon Dojo gives to you. Uh, it'd be really interesting to see. You know, do you think maybe instead of like all out blocking, he'll put something in front just to force Eric Eric to have to play cards like just like I would just you know what I'm gonna give it to you but I need you to play cards first kind of a do thing. Do you want to give it to them? I mean if you if your opponent if your cram opponent has multiple voice of honors in hand that's so brutal you're just like you know what like I, I, I wonder I wonder if you just say no blocks and then you first no blockers first action wave okay so we do see no blockers yep. and first action wave the scorpion you're giving your opponent a chance to play Voice of Honor here. What if you just say no box, pass? And then just pass, yeah. Like, if, you're, if your crane opponent just has no Voice of Honors, and I think there's like... No, he has like... I think he has like two or three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he has like, two or three in his Like, hand. if you get two or three... Like, at that point in time, it's worth the trade of giving up the best holding in the game because now you basically lock down the matchup because your opponent just has no way of, of interacting. It, it, for, it will force Eric to have to have a Guest of Honor at some point in time. Uh, there were, Now, we do see a voice. I think he's just basically saying I'm going to lose these, potentially. So yeah. let me let me play one. Well, but, and that's the thing. I think this was a misplay on Shin's part from giving him the opportunity to even play one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, See, now if there's only one left. Well, like so the the no so the challenger can harpoon the the enforcers to not break. Oh, true. We could because the enforcers are being a four four. We were just talking about big block of stats. Yeah. In this case, kind of hurting hurting Shen in a potential of the ability. It's not a big deal, right? It's just the airing. Sure. So we do see Eric deliberating right now with his action after canceling the way the scorpion. What he's going to decide to do I'm here? Challenger for it. There we go, and we do see a dragon ignoble. Yep. And so we have five to four. Uh, let's see. Do you think Eric leaves? With uh, with favorable, yeah, that's a strong play. Because the airing it was the airing matter, right? Well, here we, we go. We see the third wave of the scorpion for Johnny. So he's played three, all three wave of the scorpions now. I think you just take it and you leave, right? Yep. And yeah. there's the status second. Make it really makes that that first voice of honor expenditure really awkward now. If this was your plan plan to get, to begin with, I think you should have just eaten the first dishonor. Well, no, because then you're opening yourself up to get fate worse than death again. Well, like, you could just leave. Oh no, no, I, I see. What you're he, saying. he wanted to be able to drag in and go yeah, enforcers, yeah, yeah. right? So this is the only way to safely drag in enforcers and, and then and then eject, agreed, right? Agreed. All right. So this fair. is okay. Uh, and now now, if if he can get Brash Samurai honored, then his voices will be back on again. It's it's just awkward. Yeah, yeah the, the voice will be on from the brash. Okay, I like that line. Yeah, That's yeah. Fair. So now it'll be. It's, it sucks though, right? Like using a wave, a, a, you know, a voice, a voice on a, on a way of the scorpion. Yeah, that's not what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Shin having all three way of the scorpions early mm. just forced it. We you do know? see the assassination now. Now that the turn has played out this way, mm -hmm. we now we see the assassination to turn off voice still. Yeah, we're killing brash samurai, not giving it the ability to turn on his first action whenever Shin attacks in on his next attack. So it's actually really sick. So Shen 
to set this up from last turn. Yeah. He played the alibi artist in fate phase. Yeah. Then with this assassination, he went down below six and activates alibi artist. So, yeah, so now he can use it. He yeah. uses it. Yeah, and then he uses a stronghold, so it's six to seven. He's going to be, you know, lower. It's really, really beautiful to play, you know, sequence of, of events. Sure. I mean, I don't, uh, by the same token, I don't dislike Eric's line here, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't here, think Eric did anything wrong. Yeah, like, he, he got Ignoble um, out of the way, right? He still has another strong attack to try and break a province. Um, it, it's just going to be really interesting to see what he is. So he's got a Fumiki in hand that he can play into a battle. Um, although Fumiki obviously very awkward to play in front of uh, in front of a goblin on a military. She's an O3, right? So you have to honor her to, to even contest. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awkward. We're going to see uh, Shan attack uh, Fertile Fields, right? Probably either Fire or Earth. Yeah, I mean, Fertile Fields is just where you have to go now. You know, uh, poking anywhere else is just way too dangerous. Um, oh, he's going Void, actually. Oh, right, so it's Fate Worse Enough. Yeah. He's just going to keep He's just gonna keep voiding Eric's board because Shen has, has inherent money uh, from Hidden Moon Dojo passes. Right. Now, so we see a Force Edict at the very back of, of Shen's hand. I don't know if I saw a, a, another Fate Worse Than Death from the one he played before. You see a Cunning, I see a Kashiko, I, I see an Ancient Master, I saw a Let Go. It's just like so hard because it's just like a giant clump of cards in his yeah. hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is I, I think he has a second Kashiko in his hand also. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is that a Fiery Ooh. Madness? Uh, yeah, you, there's a Fiery Madness again, If you just for sure. Fiery Madness this, <laughs> like, that's not the worst. I mean, if you make Eric play Letgo's on Fiery Madness, that's less Letgo's he has for, for Guest of Honor. Absolutely. And he's, yeah, and Shin's just, like, letting you go. He, what does he care? It's, it only costs one fate. He has a million. Um, now, did we see... So, is Challenger blocking this? Uh, I believe so, right? Yeah. There's no other reason to play the Madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And because he played the Madness, it, he presumably doesn't have uh, Fate Worse Enough. He really wants this this void to go off. I mean, he just wants to continue to apply pressure to the board um, that that Eric is trying to manage from being behind on Fate. Yeah. And, and I think that that's smart. Shen, Shen can drop Kachiko in also if Eric ever dr drops below on Fate. Yeah. So like, if Eric only has one Fate, Shen can play Kachiko and, and go break Shameful. Because if Eric plays a Steward, uh, Kachiko can't become Dishonored. Sure. He, he, now, he could still mirror mode his fury, the Kachiko. Oh, right, because Shen has not wanted to scout. This is something that, you know, players who've been playing since the beginning are, are well familiar with yeah. flipping over every province. Exactly. And that was something you had to do against Miramoto's Fury. You had to literally just flip over all your opponent's provinces before you could, you know, get a real attack in. Right. Magistrate Station actually making that strategy. I mean, really, you see that strategy less and less with Miramoto's Fury leaving the format yeah. wholesale. Um, but in a deck that's actually playing, mag um, you know, uh, uh, Miramoto's Fury, the first thing you want to do knowing that is, okay, I just want to flip over provinces, but if one of those provinces that you're unable to break is Magistrate Station, just things start getting really weird from that point forward, because you get so much free value. Mm -hmm. One thing I really like about Magistrate Station is it's kind of, uh, you know, opposed to the value of the break province. You know, this like is a... Upholding authority? Exactly. This is a oh. province where you actually gain incremental value from defending it, and I really like having those kinds of effects in the game, where, like, uh, I, where you're forcing you to defend and gaining benefit from defending. Ending. I really like that. Yeah, the crab players are really are really angry right now because they're <laughs> like, "That's our stick." You know, we've we've been trying we've been trying to defend to win. Right. And so we see we see Challenger become honored again. So that's the third way of the crane for Eric. Sure. So way of the scorpions and way of the cranes are gone. Yep. Uh, so Eric has two soul banner approaches, and then there's going to be court games and four shames for for dishonor effects. Sure. Uh, and so. This military conflict is huge right now. It's we, we saw a bonsai and the goblin sneak to push Shen up to five, and then we saw the honor plus the katana. Uh, Shen did let go one katana. Yeah, I mean, and that's that's actually a fine expenditure of let go uh, here in this matchup because those are the attachments on the crane side. There's nothing more impactful. It's just three fans and three three katanas. So if you just want to try and win a challenge, it's reasonable to just let go a katana. You know, it's 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 not like you're being too greedy. Looks you know? like looks like Shen played uh, younger Ronger into the conflict from hit with Hidden Moon Dojo. Sure, from his provinces, that happens every game. Yep, needs to <laughs> needs to refill his pilgrimage so he can turn it face up. There we go. Because the action on Hidden Moon Dojo, as many staging grounds was needed. Yep. Uh, he now has a courtier in the conflict to potentially play for shame. 
Yes, which is very strong against, uh, you know, basically they're trying to, you know, the, the biggest problem with Eric's board right now is that he's not able to maintain multiple characters on with, with uh, like, every time he gets an honored guy, it's in that battle. So something bad can happen to it. And, you know? and we do see that Shen just doesn't even want to expend uh, any resources. He just is happy winning the Void Ring. Sure. So he just wins 7-7, seven to seven, uh, voids, <laughs> voids the challenger. And Shen has political favor right now. He can actually do a political conflict uh, with his alibi artist and get Crane Strongholded. And, and, and not still, have, yeah, still and, have the and one. Still, and still have the one. Yeah. So we can see a political earth conflict if he wants. Or he could do political fire to neutral out this challenger. Uh, uh, fire and uh, earth. Fire's, fire's already taken. He could go. No, no. Fi this is fire here in, uh, at the top of the screen. Uh, void and air were taken. Oh, I see. Okay. And then, so we can have him do fire and neutral out the challenger. Mm -hmm. Now that, you know, all the way the cranes are gone. Yeah. And then also, next turn, you'll do two fate earth as your first conflict. Now, there is still a Fumiki. Yep. And, and then that's what we see here. We see the fire conflict. Yeah. Now, he could def uh, Eric can actually expend resources to uh, to defend yeah, this. Yeah, we see, we see the sure. Shen stronghold, and Shen just quickly points to his, his favor. Yep, now, uh, he can't yell at us, the internet, you know. he d Use box was used, you know, and we yeah, pointed yeah. out that that could happen. Yep, and, you know, it's really funny. We have Kachiko here sitting and uh, kind of taunting Eric. <laughs> you know, she's not even on the board, but she's giving, she's winning winning the conflict. <laughs> the, uh, the, you know, this is the new favor from the Season 3 kit. Uh, you know, it's got Aramaro and Kachiko. It's, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I didn't even even notice the picture on the favor. That's funny. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. <laughs> um, so, and I guess that's another point. So Shen has Kachiko in his hand. He's got enough fate to play it. You know, Eric is, ma is mulling over. Do I play a conflict character into this to defend it? If it's anything other than political rival, you know, Shen could just slam down a Kachiko and um, and and then be able to win. Yeah, yeah. The the issue here is that uh, Eric is just slowly falling more and more behind, and he's just gonna, uh, you know, it's just gonna be a, a a turn where Shen just slips the switch. Yeah. And so it looks like we see Eric passes, loses an honor uh, to unopposed. Yep. We're gonna see the firing trigger. Oh, you pass. Okay, that's fine. Right, I boxed, you pass, yeah, yeah, yeah. I pass. Okay, so they're, they're just talking over the conflict. So Eric loses yeah. on down to five. So five to five. Five to five. And then we're going to see a, a firing neutral at this challenger most likely. Oh, he honors the enforcers. Actually, this is this is important. Uh, so I'm so used to these crane players playing Scorpion Splash. Oh, okay. That, uh, this is kind of dangerous to do things like this because of Mark of Shame. Right, right, right. And so uh, that's another thing. Kachiko is a lot better versus Dragon Splash because Mark of Shame doesn't exist. You can't just get Mark of Shamed into to, you know, an O3. Sure. Now, is it fair to say that Eric's particular style of deck here with the Dragon Splash is maybe geared more against oh. beating high-level dragons than it is beating high-level Seeker Avoid uh, Crab Scorpion? also. Fury, Fury Leko is very strong against Crab. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, you know... Is a Scorpion Splash for, for Crane better against Scorpion than Dragon Splash? Potentially. I'm not a Crane player, uh, you know... Well, because you have extra 4 GDX, like you have extra cancels you can bring in with, with the Scorpion yeah. Splash. But with this, you know, you tend to have a lot more fight, you know, against, like you said, Crab, and, and then Dragon, as we've been seeing successful I'm, from I mean, I mean, side. I think the biggest problem with this game that we've seen so far is that Shen has Hidden Moon Dojo in the middle province. <laughs> and that we and that we have... Well, Eric has not flipped Guest of Honor. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, no Guest of Honor is definitely a huge problem, right? And it's something that I think that, you know, if he just flops a Guest and attacks into Hidden Moon Dojo, I don't really think that there's a whole lot that Shen is going to want to try and spend to, to save it. I think he'll just pop uh, Upholding Authority and take the cards. Yeah. One thing. Um, so, it'll be so we see another fake phase by here, uh, yep. Shadow Shaper. And Eric, er, er, quickly, you know, we got a reader here. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for yeah. people who don't know, Sh Soshi Shadow Shaper is a two cost, okay. one, one, two with one glory. Oh. It is a Shugenja, and it has action. Uh, I believe it's during the conflict phase. I think. Oh, yeah, one second. Yeah. Chris right. is getting the exact text. All right, so action during the conflict phase: lose one honor, choose a character with cost two or lower, which is relevant here. Uh, that is interplay from a player's hand this phase. Return that character to its owner's hand. So one thing I learned uh, playing against Shen about this card is that you should play it uh, in. Ooh, no! One thing I do want to point out: okay. Shen actually purchased something in the dynasty phase. It wasn't next to Hidden Moon Dojo. Exactly. Um, you know, you can't always be lucky. Sure, sure. Uh, but uh, the reason why he's doing this here is because. Uh, Eric has to make a purchase from, I mean, still, again, unfortunate flip from the crane, no guest of honor. Um, he's going to really, he's going to have to buy something, don't you think? Or is, is probably buys, You probably buy Kalo to gain an honor, because it's guaranteed honor gain. You can always target yourself, the Kalo itself. That's also, that's true, but what if this is the first 
times that Eric actually has actually had to like uh, gain some type of fate equity over Shen. Do you just take that just like and just play? Turn. It's not possible, right? So, like, because Shen's gonna get first attack here. This Earth, this Earthring has two fate. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not gonna be something that you can you can battle. You only have uh, one character, and and you're and you're you, you know you're gonna get taxed on your stewards this this turn. Yeah, and I guess you can't really. You, what do you think Shen's bid is at this point in time? Do you think he drops it to one because he has 20 cards in his hand? I mean, they're both I don't at know, five. Man. You know what's better than 20 cards? 25 cards. Uh, 25 cards is pretty great. Uh, so so real quick on the Shadow Shaper, if Eric wants to play a steward, he can actually play it in draw step. That's true. If you play it in draw step, then the Shadow Shaper can't bounce it, mm. and then you can actually use it use it as an attack. Yeah. Also, but important to note is that Shadow Shaper um, cannot bounce, uh, you know, political rival and Iron Menacing Warrior. So Shen draws one, two. So is that a two to one? I uh, don't see honor exchange. Maybe maybe, maybe Eric read the two to one. So one thing one thing when the when the bids get low against Scorpion, you know, for the player for the people watching the stream, uh, you'll see the Scorpion try and basically one up you on their bid, especially if you're tied on honor. So yeah. They can steal it back. So if you're expecting for for Scorpion to drop their bid, what they'll actually do is just bid two to to be one more. Than yeah. You, especially you know? it, this this is this is really relevant when you're even on honor. Yeah. So they're both at five right now. So did they both bid two at that point in time? Uh, this yeah. is what it looks like. Cause it yeah. looks like they're still at five. Uh, one interaction that I'm curious about, right? So uh, choose a character for Sh Sh Shoshi Shadow Shaper, right? Yep. Um, which can be a Scorp which can be one of Shin's players, right? Um, yeah, you can bounce Goblin Sneak, uh, Meek Informant. Can he bounce one of the guys he brings in from Hidden Moon Dojo? No, okay. it's not the same as uh, playing from your hand. Uh, it's not as it's. Uh, as if in your hand, and actually physically from your hand are two different things. I see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, Shoshiro Miyako triggers though from Hidden Moon Dojo. Sure. That's, that's a different wording. Now, something that's important to note here: um, should Eric uh, get a guy on the board dishonored? He's not going to want to pull the trigger on his soul beyond reproach because of Young Rumormonger being in play. Young, yeah. Young Rumormonger can change the um, target of the first honor, and then because the, of the way just doesn't. Be, yeah. Because it's, because of the way then clauses work in L5R, if the first part of the statement didn't um, didn't resolve as in, intended, then the second part won't resolve. So Young Rumormonger incredibly good against uh, soul beyond reproach activations. Yeah, Young Rumormonger is Young Rumormonger and Social Illusions. These two two drops that we see in play right now now are, you know, the bane of many Crane players since core. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the two cards that have been used to just fight, fight, you know, the, the voice of honor battle, basically. Yeah. And so we do see a, a military void, actually. Shen just still hammering void, actually. A really, you know, a really strong position to do this. Uh, protects, protects his two characters and forces action from Eric. Sure. I mean... Shin does need to start putting. I mean, like uh, this grindy game that he has going on is great, um, but uh, I think he's just gonna try and dishonor him. I mean, he needs to do it quickly, is all I'm saying, right? You know, Eric's still at five. Um, you know, if there is a turn where he's going to quote unquote explode, I mean, Eric will eventually get to a guess. Like they're yeah, in there. Yeah. Like it's gonna happen. You know, so but, I think I think it may come to a point in time where he starts to run out of advantage that he gained in the early game. That's fair. He, he, Shin Shin, in my opinion, is an excellent player, but one that sometimes doesn't always close. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like he, he he's able to to get really advantageous board states, but then almost kind of sits on them forever and then doesn't actually win the game. Looks like he's he's trying to pull the trigger here on winning this conflict. We see uh, we see a four shame on this challenger after the illusionist removed the status. Sure. So the inclination on the crane players is to just go, okay, I dishonor my guy, and then I play Soul Beyond Reproach. But we, you know, as we just discussed, that's a line that that Eric really needs to think about. And if he if he decides to do that, it'll take two Soul Beyond Reproaches to actually get him to where he wants to go. Oh, if he dishonors, yeah, yeah. So Shen looking quickly perusing the graveyard. And I think he's thinking. only got the one. Oh, you know what? He, that? Pull, he pulled it. He pulled one to the to the back of his hand. And then there's another card with sort of similar I art. I think that's a full art katana. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, the full art katana. Is like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he does have enough fate to play Iron Menacing Warrior here. Oh, that's so sick. So he can play Iron Menacing Warrior and then and then cancel um, oh, sure, yeah, sure. Young Rumormonger, right? 
So he yeah. chose to just bow here. Okay, I think this is a good play on Eric's part. Maybe Eric just doesn't care, right? Like about yeah. Like, I don't know. Er Eric's thinking the same thing. At some point, I'm going to find a guest. I got all this fate. Okay. Shen's not putting too much pressure on me. Yeah. Um, play an Iron Warrior? There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the second one that he's played. Yep. So this, uh, is, this is the last one in his deck. So I wonder if Shen has a uh, fate worse than death here. And if he does, you just blast this Iron Warrior as your first action? I, I don't know. I, I saw a fiery madness just float so, to the top of his deck. So so we see four fate yeah, right. here on, from this character. Uh, you know, that, putting, that that is good. Fate worse than death, you know, protection. Yeah, right? I mean, if you just put a lot of fate on your character, fate worse than death loses a lot of equity. That's true. Uh, Doctor Adjective, menacing Iron Warrior can turn off Young Rumonger's uh, ability. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think that we'll see uh, Fire Madness come down on the Iron Warrior to stop him from being uh, like able to do that. Oh no, we just see we just see old goblin, just old goblin guy old come go on down. Yo, I mean, I mean, go goblin sneak taking. So Eric just spent a lot of his age, he spent seven out of his nine. Yeah. And now goblin sneak taxing you for one more, just kind of poking you in the ribs again. <laughs> and we see a, we see another katana from Eric. So that's the third katana. Okay. Uh, one got let go. So Eric's now winning five to three. This this uh, void ring is really important, right? If it, if you can void this challenger, this challenger did actual nothing, right? <laughs> well, that's not true. It it pulled in the ignoble. Cool. Yeah, it stopped the ignoble from attacking him on yep. a turn. Yep, that that that's something. It did. I mean, <laughs> it did a thing. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we see we see uh, a calling in favors on this katana, and so uh, you know, dishonor and goblin sneak, uh, no glory. Yeah. So goblin sneaks up to three, four, five. We were five to three. So Shen's winning the conflict. I think that he should. Uh, yeah. So he's gonna go ahead and fire off a uh, menacing warrior, stopping younger yeah, yeah. longer. This I, is correct. I wonder if Shen's gonna quickly ask the judge if if it can stop the interrupts. Uh, or, or maybe Shen just knows. Yeah. Sure, I'm still winning, right? So Shen just says, sure, I'm still winning. Five, yeah, five to three. I will... All right, we got, the, we got the big dice out. I love these things. Makes ringing the board state incredibly yeah, easy yeah, from yeah. our standpoint. <laughs> it allows, it, it's just a really easy way to keep track of, of skills. Especially in this game, the numbers can just get astronomical. Yeah, yeah. Um... Not in this matchup, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite thing, though, about like this matchup is so. I guess what, what's the word you want to uh, use polarizing. for it? Polarizing. Well, I, would say polarizing. Cer I think cerebral. Like you know, like there's there's so much that's going on, but in in between like these interactions, the numbers may not be huge. It's yeah, not yeah. it's not like big lion armies crashing into unicorn armies, you know, and trying to see who's bigger. Mm -hmm. But it's just all these little tiny feints and you know and and taunts and pulls and it's you know it, trying to get one person to just outvalue themselves a little bit, you know? It feels almost like a, so like the crane deck feels more like a mid-range deck where it's trying to get, uh, trying to build up the board and get underneath. Sure. Underneath the, the control deck, basically, mm -hmm. which is what Scorpion is, and they're basically, like, the Scorpion player is trying to just control the game state and basically make all of, all of the crane players. We see a big assassination Ooh, here. So, yeah, Shin goes down to two, part of his game plan, he's not in any danger or yeah. anything like that, but that just furthers his game plan of any, being any able other to use plan. his box. Yeah, any other yeah. plan be in danger. Yeah. Yeah, City yeah. of the Open Hand, you know, you know, very, uh, very strong. I, yeah, it's very it's a strong. very strong card. I actually think it's a really, it's a, it's a really cool card. It's just obviously the problem is it's just a lot better than all the other uh, core strong. Well, it, it it allows for very strong plays like this. You know, like as you're saying, you know, some clans are, you know, it would basically not be even want to risk couldn't that. Play that. Yeah, right? yeah like you just, just couldn't do it. Um, but now he can he can play assassination and then immediately start to draw Eric down from. Oh, we've been at five for too long. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, time, yeah, it's, yeah, time, yeah, it's well, time. It's time. It's time to get yeah, down yeah, in the muck. It's just like it's just like a you know a race to race to the bottom basically yeah. <laughs> um, so this will enable Shen's box for at least uh, I, prob I, I would assume activation here and activation next turn um, he is still I believe winning alright All right, so, so we see Bonsai here so uh, Eric having to use you know cards that he really wants to use on like breaking um, that uh, um, so Eric kicked it, yep. and so we're gonna see. So as Shen strongholds, it'll be. So Eric's down to four on her. Mm -hmm. He's gonna stronghold action action right here. So Shen's up to three, and Eric's down to down to three also, I believe. Yeah, they're tied at three now. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't believe Shen has duty yet, or if he does, it's just somewhere in that giant clump. I I haven't seen the art. 
whenever he fans out briefly. Um, uh, it's, it's just it's such a very a, awesome art too. Yeah, yeah, but this is such an awkward use of Bonsai here, you know, because like that's that's an aggressive card. You want to use that to try and break Scorpion provinces, and Eric just has never had the opportunity to get any kind of aggression going. Shen can also place uh, Soshi Illusionist from his provinces here. Sure. Within Moon Dojo, and actually minus two, and still win the conflict. Right, so so if these dice are correct, which it looks like they are, Iron Warriors plus four is seven. Mm -hmm. You play you play uh, Sinister Soshi. Yeah, Sinister Soshi. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinister Soshi. Oh, oh we, we just see Fiery Madness. Madness. Yeah, Madness on a four a four fate character. Yeah. So Fiery Madness. Okay, so you can see Leko. And so so Eric is down two Lekos. So Shen, even if I guess shows up now, He's Shen like, has the clouds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so like this this is perfect for Shen. He's just getting these Lekos out of the way now. There are Maya Mystics. Two. Yeah. Uh, and one of them is in Province. But gosh, you he's sure... Gonna do, he's going to Yeah, back. you sure don't want to keep that, you, you, yeah, know? you, you know? Yeah, you know what it is. You keep the Maya Mystic, and then you, you have a less chance of seeing guests. So exactly. like it just kind of works against each other. And so even even this Shen can just play Sinister Soshi right now with one fate or whatever, or no fate, in, mm. into, into his, you know, from his provinces. Yeah. And just, ta you know, minus two. Yeah. And then go back to five to five. And so, that you know, Eric's playing all these cards, and, and Shen's just basically doing as little as he possibly can, but still win. Yeah. Uh, as is tradition with Scorpion. <laughs> uh, in chat, in chat, someone's saying, yeah, all of this to prevent one Void Ring. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, this is, you know, for on Eric's side, like, he needs to stop this Air Ring. Um, uh, or, sorry, Void Ring. Um... Because if that challenger goes away, then he's just then he just continues to to, to be at the same board state, which is I untap one character and I start the turn. What do, you, what do you think about this? So Shen just played Cunning Magistrate. I mean, it's indicating that he doesn't fate worse than death. No, it? no, he just turned off his own Goblin Sneak. Oh, that's true. Oh, so that's this, awkward. This is definitely a, definitely a mistake from Shen, a rare mistake from yeah. Johnny. Um, I think he should have just played the Sinister Soshi from his provinces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does the exact same thing for four less fate. So he he basically just paid four fate to lose the to lose, to lose the, the challenge. Yeah, yeah, wow. Uh, rare a rare break um, for you know. Uh, Illusionist has already been used in Astrid. Uh Illusionist use, was used on the Challenger at the very beginning of this whole fiasco. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, so uh, Eric getting a you know a, a little bit lucky you, there. Give a little help. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. Help. He I mean, needs it. He needs it. Look, look, you, you need luck to win a tournament. Absolutely. Yeah. And so we see a political conflict at pilgrimage. I think Eric just wants to grab this fate. Yeah. And so he he goes in a pilgrimage with an Earth Ring, and we're basically just saying, I'm going to make you block. Sure. We can see a block from uh, Illusionist. Illusionist plus favor uh, stops the stops the break. Uh, Eric grabbed two fade off that Earth Ring also. Uh, so because because Shen was hammering that Void Ring for so much, he just left the two fade on the Earth Ring. Yeah, yeah. Which is very odd. Shen usually lo loves money so much. <laughs> Investment banking, Scorpion. Yes. Um, so he's gonna go ahead and block here with uh, the Ignoble. Um, interesting. Um, I mean, it, I, I, it's not like he was ever gonna be, I guess, pressuring provinces or anything like that. Um, on the other hand. Um, I don't know. So he, each player has political left at this point in time? No, no, no. Uh, Eric has military left. Shin has political. Yeah. Yeah. And it, we see Monte Cristo uh, saying in chat saying that uh, this is what nine straight hours of do playing will do to your brain. Yeah. Your, your <laughs> no brain, joke. Your brain is kind of melted right now. Just uh, it's, it's just one more, right? It's just a long grind, and you just got to gotta power through. I mean, Cutting Magistrate is one of those cards where you can just, uh, oh, the two fate, where you can just pay five fate and a card to turn your yourself off from being able to win a battle, it's, it's, you know? It's so awkward, right? Scorpion players are just like, this card turns my character, my opponent's characters off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, to them, that's what it reads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, and that's such a big tempo swing, because now this challenger is staying in play, now Eric will actually have a board state going into next turn. Um, that is an excellent, um, you know, string of events to happen for Eric there. I, I really thought that there was no chance that he was going to be able to win that battle and, and, and keep that Void Ring. Um, but, you know, we see play mistakes, you know. De this is, what, the seventh round today? Eighth counting challenger? Uh, so this will be the sixth round both of these players have played because they both got a round one bye. Okay. So we did play seven rounds. It was a 128-person bracket. Sure. So... Uh, a lot of games. Yeah, seven, seven, yeah, a lot of games. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, you know, chat, chat, people in chat pointing out that endurance is a skill, and, and I, I do agree. You yeah. know, it is something that you need to win. And we, so we see the noble enforcers uh, blocking and winning with the with the favor. 
Uh, five, five, and we saw court games uh, come out from Eric to honor his whisper. Sure. So, so uh, he'll, voice he'll gain is, an honor. Voice is not on though, but he will gain an honor. Yeah, which is important. I mean, that, that's at really a, all that court games is, is doing right now. At a know? certain point, discarding cards to gain honor is relevant. Yeah. Because we're gonna see a political uh, air conflict here. It looks like. So Shen, Shen, I think, said out loud, I'm wondering if I should go for Shameful here. <laughs> I think that this is probably, I don't know. This I is mean, safer. This is, yeah, it's fine. It's already been activated, you know? Like, what equity uh, do you gain out of breaking, breaking a province? Well, he's not going to break it, right, Crane Box? No defense box? Right. I mean, I guess, what's the point of attacking Shameful then, box. right? You yep. know, if, you, if, you're, if your plan isn't to break. Yeah, yeah. So we see a pass here. We're going to see the, the favor, ding Eric. And then the air ring is going to seal another one. And so Eric's going to go down to two. Uh, or he's gonna go down to one, and then he'll go back up to two with this honor character leaving. Yeah. Now, the nice thing here, and this is like, you know, sort of edge case uh, for people wondering, you know, how do I dishonor cranes with these honoring mechanisms, things like that. Shadow Shaper, uh, you can just sort of like, you know, use its ability, you know, to bounce stuff that maybe you can bounce your own stuff, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, and really, at that point in time, it's um, it's not the equity that you're gaining out of returning stuff to hand. It's losing an honor, so you can activate your box again while your opponent's at two. Interesting. We see a Steward of Law show up here. It actually still ties the conflict. Sure. And then if Eric plays anything on the Steward of Law, Shen can just bounce it. Yeah. Um, not really sure. I mean, maybe he just doesn't want the honor loss. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Just, that, that I, must, I, I, I spent a fate and a guy and, and just to not just not lose extra honor, right? But yeah, I mean, that's, that's really awkward. Shen could tax him if he wants. Yeah, sure. Like, it, that's, it's true. Like, Shen could just say, pick it off and then play it again. Like, it, like tax him to fate. Right. I think that he'll just pass and wait for him to actually play a card. I mean, he, yeah, yeah, he doesn't need to do that. I'm just saying, if he really wanted the unopposed... Sure. Oh, this is interesting. Do you think that Eric will play um, court games here to honor his guy, and then that way, if it's returned to hand, he gains another honor? Yeah, but that just that just, that just just cancels out the unopposed, right? I, yeah, I mean, well, no, that's not true. It stops the unopposed. No, you have to replay it. Well, sure, so he'll do that, too. Is that really where... That's two cards and two fate. Well, he didn't... They ended up not doing anything. Okay, sure. So yeah. the, our, our hypothetical is over. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so, so the, the first line was, you know, I had, didn't want to take unopposed. Yeah. And so so Eric's going to go down to two from the air ring. Mm -hmm. uh, presum a presumable steel yellow. That's what we see. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to see the... Um, so Whisper or leave to go back up to, oh, to go back up to three. Right. The uh, enforcers are gonna go back up to four. Shen keeps favor. Now, you know, Shen at that point in time is not willing to take himself down to two. Um, it, it, this may not be, like, the biggest point in the world, but sometimes whenever you're low on honor, a Hataro comes out and just double air rings you and you die. Yeah, it's kind of know, <laughs> So, like, you, there is something you do have to keep in mind. Uh, Hataru uh, being the Crane can, Clan champion that can... Uh, Resolve rings twice. Yes. And as we've basically seen, no large bodies from uh, Eric's... Um, Dynasty uh, deck up to this point, you have to assume that we're getting to something. There's got to be a Yoshi or Hataru or something. We do see Eric favoring a Kalo for the honor gain. I don't know if that's correct, right? I mean, maybe you're so low you care about it. just any honor gain whatsoever is important, but mm, I mean, I think that you just, I think it's time to start building out your board with, with the things that matter. Yep, so Eric becomes first player, with the, and and we see no guest. Wow. But we do see an Asami. Asami is important Potentially. Here. It, it, yeah. makes, uh, it makes Scorpion have to slightly overvalue their attacks. They, they have to put more in whenever they're attacking in for political. Otherwise, you can just Asami with yeah. enough political just immediately steal an honor. Oh. The, you know, Scorpion doesn't want to have to deal with that. How does the Noble Enforcers work with... Uh with Hidden Moon Dojo. Let me read this card. Okay. After you play this character... So, so he's yeah, still does, playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he can play it and then elect to lose however much honor he wants to up to three. We do see the Asami come out. Yep, three fade. This will be a very effective character for him if he can keep it protected. Uh, and, uh, and this is, you know... Um, Almost the whole game, it, 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 up to this point, it almost seems like we saw Eric playing from behind. I was getting the feeling like we were going to start to get to this point where if, if there was at any point in time in that void ring, you know, not not uh, activating, has really allowed Eric to have an actual board this, this turn. This you turn, know, yeah. he's not, he will actually be able to aggress and maybe even take a province. 
it may be hard to want to devote that many resources when you're so close to being dishonored yourself. But, you know, do you think at this point in time, Eric is just giving up on winning via via province breaks? It's just like, all right, we're hope, make you hope Shen makes a mistake. Yeah, like basically we're just we're both at three. I think I have to somehow dishonor you, even though you have city of the open hand. It's it's possible. Yeah, it's not it's, it's not like uh, it's never happened. Sure. I mean, Asami definitely helps toward that game plan. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, Shen does have Kachiko. Sure, sure, and sure. Kachiko can put a wrench in this whole plan. That's true. And so both players did just, you know, the you know the the wheel has turned. Both players are down to one now. Mm -hmm. Like what we see, we see one bids from both players. Uh, and we do see that that sinister Soshi that that Shen could have bought last turn. He does buy it though this turn in fate phase. Hmm. And so, uh, you know, I don't expect to see ignoble enforcers. He can just buy uh, Kachiko <laughs> instead. Sure. He could actually uh, ignoble enforcers and go down to two. Uh, I'll take water. And then he could box him down. He could uh, box himself back up to three. Okay. It's a it's a it's a way because there's nothing good to assassinate on this board, right? Right. We see a military water at upholding authority. Do you just let this break? Oh no, it, the challenger will challenge you. Yeah. yeah it'll pull but in. What will pull it in? Pull in that can, that can stop the break. Nothing. You can't pull in anything. Well, no, 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 no. Goblin sneak. Goblin yeah, sneak is yeah, a yeah. three. This is like a really awkward attack here because this, is, this goblin sneak. Like all, all Shen's characters have no fate. How does Sinister Soshi read? It's uh gives minus two minus two. To who? To oh, it's anyone. Tell anyone. You get minus two minus two in your own characters. I've uh, I've had people do that, so they didn't make feast your family against me. Right. So, so it, so what, it, yeah. So if you get challenged, you can minus two minus two your own guy. Yeah. So he should just he should just not block here and just allow Hidden Moon Dojo to die. Yeah, yeah. Because because the, the if you if you trigger upholding authority at this stage in the game with the, the hand sizes this big, it lets you play out the whole turn because you have perfect information. Yeah. And then you get to just like nab two or three of something. Yeah, so you just you just don't do anything. Let your goblin sneak get moved in and then you send Sir Soshi your own guy. I'd be fine with that. That's reasonable. And then, you know, if you get any cancels out of your opponent's hand, you're probably pretty solid. So Shen Shen says no blocks pass. All right. So I do think that, I mean, he, you know, being able to grab a character here, he, he is obviously going to use Challenger on something, um, but he needs to start breaking provinces. I mean, I think Eric wants to break this upholding authority just as much as Shen wants it to be broken. Uh, so he may just be considering, all right, do I do I bring over like um, the cunning? And if I at that point in time, do I open myself up to not being able to break now because I, my guy gets dishonored? Yeah. I mean, Shen, if Shen really wanted to avoid this, he could just play Cloud. Uh, That's true. Yeah, which obviously, yeah, okay. So we do see the Goblin Sneak being pulled. Does Shen just minus his own guy? That would be great. This, is, this, will, be, this will be the play, right? Like, let's see it. Because he can just play Kachiko to defend political. Exactly. He just pre-plays Kachiko, and then he can just sit there and say, you can't, you know, be the wall. You, can, you may not pass. Right. Especially after you see your opponent's full hand. I think I would minus two, minus two, my own guy. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be all about it. Like, don't get me wrong. This hidden moon dojo is the whole reason why you're why you're so far ahead. Um, uh, there we yeah, go. He did it. He yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so sick. That's so sick. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I wonder if Eric's gonna read the go read the card if you can. Yeah. Do that. Are, you, are you sure you're able to do that? Are we gonna get into a situation where like Eric Bonsai is the Goblin Seeker? Oh, that would be so hilarious. Like, is, that gonna, is that gonna be what we're seeing? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't think Eric has a bonsai. Eric has two soul rearm approaches, two, two voice of honors. Um, is that a katana? No, he's played all his katanas. Yeah. I, I katana your, your goblin sneak. Oh yeah. Well, I fiery madness my goblin Jeez. sneak. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> very very uh, uh, weird weird game states that these on break provinces create. <laughs> All right, so I think he's trying to think of any way. Uh, there's three Voice of Honors in his hand. No, no he's played one. Oh, I guess you're right. He's okay. played one. He, so does have a, he does have a dead center in his hand, though. It's been uh, literally dead the whole game. Yep. 
So, oh, he likely he plays <laughs> <laughs> This is so sick. He plays he plays his third let go on his own katana. What a game. <laughs> Uh, L5R as it was always intended to be played, of course. Exactly this way. Exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. this way. <laughs> uh, playing, play, playing the game. Uh, you can't, you can't shadow shape her now, uh, Hado. You have to. It has to be a character that entered this phase. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> it's just so weird to not want to break Hidden Moon Dojo, right? But with yeah. the, if you, since you've got to. Um, but, I mean, why even attack there, then? Like, what's the point? One thing to, to notice here is that Shen does not have a courtier right now in play, and he doesn't have one in his row. So he can't actually play Forged Edict at the moment. That's true. So that, if, yeah, if, I mean, he, he'll have to play his Kachiko, right, to, to be able to Forged yeah, Edict. Yeah, yeah, so, so they both pass. The Water Ring is claimed. Have, uh, Bow the Illusionist. Bow's Illusionist. And then I think Shen's going to pass his first Conflict and then pre-play Kachiko. Yeah. Or he he could do a, he could do a mill poke maybe with the shadow shaper, <laughs> mill fire grab the fate. Now, uh, um, menacing warrior only works in military challenges. Correct. Is that correct? correct. Okay. Yeah, you can't you can't menacing iron warriors uh, catch you go politically. Uh, so I think you send the shadow shaper on military fire, at fr uh, potentially fertile fields. Grab the fate, last fate on the ring, and then you. Just Pre-play Kachiko with three fate or whatever. Yeah. I thought they weren't play for some reason. That's why I no. attacked with a challenger. I know they're not. I'm, so, I'm still thinking. Yeah. Thank you, Um, Since you have a conflict action. <laughs> Chen says he's just thinking. I mean, you could Kachiko two fate. Actually, you have the dupe in your hand. Yeah, we have seen two, right? So, 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 so you get I mean, what's the what, what's the equity of pre-playing than just playing it into the? Well, so, so, so you pre you pre-play it so you can kick Asami out as like your just, first action. Well, but if you attack in with Asami, you just play Kachiko. Then what happens? I, th there'll be a courtier in the conflict for for shame. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. for uh, shame. I mean, I mean, how many have been played so far? From Eric, zero. Yeah, I'm zero? pretty sure. Okay. I mean, er Eric has had challengers and menacing hours in play. Remember, like yeah. he hasn't had. He hasn't. There's no been. There's been no guest of honor. Yeah. There's been no rivals either. We haven't seen a rival yet. Sure. And we do see. We do see this. This military fire. Uh, just to grab the fate. Yeah, 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 Rega. The the guest the guest like the the guest ticking ticking clock doesn't work anymore. Right. Because Shen has the clouds and Eric is now out of let goes. You have to pair it with a mystic, and one of the mystics is gone, so like get guess the guest like win condition is like kind of like has kind of slipped away at this point. Sure, sure. Well I mean you could just play three of them. Like that you know, would just just get, get back yeah, to back yeah, guests, yeah. Just, you know? keep, just keep chaining guests. Yeah. I mean, you can't you can't give them all clouds. <laughs> well, he only has two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do you be two clouds? Three guests. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So he drew a um, um, admit defeat. Yes, is one of admit defeat. We do see a block here from the Iron Warriors. I mean, we're just going to see a pass here. Yeah, Shen's passing for sure. I mean, he's thinking about this pass really hard, but there's... I don't really see any reason why he would actually play cards here. I mean, unless it's another, what, Fiery? Um, do you, would, would you Fiery here if you have it? He's already played both? Yeah. Okay. Both got Lego'd. I see. Oh, yeah. Lego, Lego, and then Lego for his own Katana, yep. right? Those were Lego. Yeah, re re really reasonable plays there. Yeah. Well, at least the first two were. <laughs> <laughs> and we, do, we, see, we see Pass Pass. Yeah. Um... Uh, now, Shen's in real trouble of losing the favor this turn now, right? Um, no, he can always play Kachiko as a, as a palace. Yeah, I guess it just depends on what characters, you know... Um, so Eric currently Eric's has have. three, four, five. Shen has one. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess uh, it would be four to five, so yeah. I mean, depending on, you know, what attacks happen here. Yeah, he's going to leave Asami back, I think, just for the glory, for, for, for that scenario. So, yeah, now, yeah. so now Akachiko can't just come down and... Well, Shen has a conflict still. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So Shen could just send Akachiko in and an attack. Okay. Just him. So we see more basically just trying to farm. It's really funny that this province is kind of like the only safe, quote-unquote, province for him to farm. But yeah, Shen yeah. really doesn't have any way of... of 
bumping up this political. Um, so he's looking through. I don't. What are you looking for if you're Shin here? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what he probably. Would be maybe of. maybe you should see if a single four shame has gotten played. You know. Sure. Like, I, I can't imagine that blocking here actually does anything. I mean, I think he's just going to play Kashi yeah. go and, and kick him out. Okay. That still doesn't keep you favor. Yeah, that's fair. Now, she, he could have some number of censures in his hand to stop some let goes. I, or not let goes, but four shames, I assume. Uh, I don't think he does. I, I haven't seen it. The, the only cancel I, I really saw when he's been fanning his hand is one, one forged edict. Hmm. Uh, okay. All right, so we see a dishonoring mechanism uh, in court games on uh, Calo Delegate. Basically just making it so that Eric has no actual force in the conflict? Yeah. I don't know. Is it, are they deciding whether or not that resolves? I mean, it has to, right? Eric has no yeah. legal cancel he can play. There we go. All right. Dishonor token. Okay. The, the unfortunately the, the gold dishonor tokens they look really cool but the the lighting makes them all look just look black. Sure. Uh, we see another court games. Yep. Maybe you just play Kachiko here and kick him out. I mean, is that the play? I mean, couldn't you just play Shadow Shaper into the you're, battle? You're boxed. Oh, the old use the old use box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, like, playing playing another... So, like, the thing is, you play Kachiko, and Kachiko can, can kick... If you get for shamed, you, you bow and then kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> and at that point in time, the only thing that... Um, no, that would still not work, because... Uh, so, Shin has political favor. Yep. So, if Eric, after getting Cal kicked out, decides to play political rival into the challenge, that one that one favor on Shin's side is still keeping him from breaking up holding authority. That's miserable. Well, yeah, yeah that's... Uh, <laughs> uh, Shen, Shen would be able to play use four shame, though. On, 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 on like, multiple four shames to bow the rival to, okay. to win the conflict? Sure. Is he considering assassinating? No, he's not. Okay, okay. I thought he pulled the assassination up front. I mean, it's in his hand. He's... <laughs> uh, it, is, it, is a le it is a legal play he can make. Yeah. It takes him to two, and then he gets to use a stronghold. To, yeah, yeah. I mean... That's true. That it wouldn't kill him this turn, because this is uh, Eric's last attack. Huh. Yeah, there, there it is. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Uh, so. Oh wait, you know what? Shen can go for the win here. Okay. He can play. He so so, so he can play Kachika, and he can uh, do air, and kick Asami out. Hmm. You you if if you get for shamed, you bow and you kick. No, because Asami just got honored by. That's, that's only five. Kachika six. Well, yeah, but you have to assume the very first action that happens is for shame, right? That you, you can't stop. You bow. Okay, okay. And then you okay. kick. Okay. And then you have political favor still winning you the conflict, and air and unopposed. So if Eric... So if, if Eric sees a Kachiko hit the table, he should pre-play a fan. Correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. So so Voice of Honor is on right now. Yes. Uh, there's an illusionist in play still. Has it been used? No, I don't believe so. Steel and honor. We see Steward of Law come in. Steel and honor. Yeah, so Shen's been marking his, his activated abilities. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so yeah, now we see the honor token go away. Yep. We can just, uh, let's see. Let's see your discard, please. Yeah. Ask to see discard. So Shen should be a three, and uh, Eric should be down to two now. Um... So, so what could save Eric? So if Eric sees Kachiko, what could save him is having two fans in hand? Two fans, yeah. Two uh, fans? No, he has, he has the Soul Beyond Approaches in his hand. He has, so he has Soul Beyond Approach for, uh, uh, to honor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Plus, so Soul, Soul Beyond Approach and fan and before, the, before the battle begins. Correct. Yeah. 
<laughs> like you could do it. You could do the. You could do the soul Bjorn approach and then do fan as your first action. But that's scary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because then you can get into a fight over this fan, and if you lose it, you lose yeah. it. <laughs> so, so Shen loses an honor, goes down to two. So it'll be two two. We vo voice the cutting magistrate. All right, and so now, now Shen's gonna do the numbers, right? He's gonna he's gonna think about can I kick out? Can I reasonably win the game here um, through that series of actions? Ooh, I mean here it is. Yep. So game. He just put two. Uh, yeah, he just yeah. puts two, which is fine. It leaves. Him I mean, he could, he could honestly just put one on her if he wanted to. Yeah, because he still dupe, has the other. You're gonna yeah. dupe next turn. Exactly. Uh, and, and for people following on, dupe is you know short shorthanding duplicate, which means you can use uh, any unique character in this game. You can discard during the dynasty phase a duplicate copy of them to add a fate to them, mm -hmm. uh, either from your hand for or from provinces. All right, so we do see a four shame in Shen's hand. Yeah, yeah, Shen, Shen has a four shame. So actually, if he kicks out like, uh, Asami and Eric tries to play a conflict character, oh, he's, I see a fan for Eric. Yeah, he, he yeah, if, uh, Eric's Eric's had the fan, um, so he he needs to go fan soul beyond soul approach. approach right now, and then Shen Shen just well would have to pass. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not true. So we do see a Famiki in uh, in uh, Eric's hand. Yeah, Shen, so, so Shen, Shen can just force shame it though and still win the airing. Sure, but he's not dead, right? He he avoids unopposed, so sure. er Eric ends up at one. Is that is that better than just playing Soul Bear approach fan? I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay. I'm no, just, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just saying if he if he if he elects not to take those steps, he can still avoid dying by playing a conflict character into the battle. No, oh, no, no, wait, no, can't. because Shadow yeah, Shaper, and Famiki's only two. Yeah, yeah and he uh -oh. only has three fate. Oh. And Shen is at two honor instead of, yeah, so he can actually still use the Shadow Shaver. Yeah. I don't know really understand. I don't know what Eric is thinking about. I, obviously, they've been playing for a very long time. <laughs> like we're, we're we're pretty fresh. We get to sit here and be like, man, he should totally do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I only played five games today or four. <laughs> I can't remember what. Uh, I, I, I played a grand total of one. Oh. Um. I chose the wrong time to lose. <laughs> so he's gonna escort his Kachiko here. Uh, it's for, and by escort, I mean uh, he's going to use this Cunning Magistrate to block court games on her. Yeah. Yeah, having a, having a second character uh, in the battle, uh, always really good when you're trying to avoid court games. And I guess he dug through uh, um, Eric's bin to see if he had any left. All right, so Shin's still basically. Well, no, we're waiting on Eric's tanking right now. Okay, okay. So it's it's on Eric to to basically start playing stuff or to pass conflict action or pre-conflict action. You know, it, so there's a soul beyond approach. There we go. What if Eric had fury? That doesn't matter actually. No, yeah, fury actually doesn't matter. It's it's, first, it's, it's it's the exact same as as first shame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would just, that would be so cool. If, if, <laughs> I, 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 just, I would just find that hilarious if, if Fury was like the card that, that came through to win because like that card has just like completely phased. Yeah, and there all right, goes. all right. Eric saw the line. So does Shin have a let go? He needs, uh, no, he, he used to, I believe. He would need to have the second calling in favors. And we see a pass. Okay. Now I don't think Shin can attack you. Yeah, you can't because the Sami activation will be first trigger. Yeah. And we see. I don't think you can attack here, right? No. I, and now, now, now that Eric played correctly and set up the yeah, right blocks, you, 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 you have, have to, to let you go. Have to, like, you have to pass. You have to pass. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You could lose to like double for shame on your cunning magistrate and like stuff like that. That yeah. like you just. You just can't. Ooh. I am unsure. Yo, you can't first action Asami because the. the oh, because the cunning. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Eric has two voices are that are on right now though. Can I see this? Sure. 
Eric has two voices. That's true. So Eric can just voice voice everything that matters, and then just uh, after you crane box, you you Asami steal. Shen is looking first player though. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Shen Shen will die. He has this dishonored goblin sneak leaving. So. Right. Yeah. If, if Sami acts, so if because 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 you know Shen will play what for shame and then it gets canceled. Yeah. I think Shen just lost. I think that I think he may have punted here by this attack. You know, like he played the Kachiko, he saw the line to win, but then Eric played correctly with the Asami and protected it correctly. And so now I don't actually think I think that I think Shen might be dead. This is like all stemming from the from the Cunning Magistrate play, where where he was so far ahead. Yeah, and, and then he, played he just cunning... played Cunning Magistrate to lose the conflict. Yeah. Like, you know, L5R is just one of those things where oh. you can be so far ahead, and then if you make a, you know, you, you make... I mean, you, he, made, he, he was at five to start the turn. He made, he's making the, he made the risky play with the Assassinate. That's true. Then took the end of post. Yep. So, I mean, I believe, I believe this will be the, the decider here, but we'll, we'll see. Um, this is the same skill count as this, right? Oh, oh, Shen has clawed the mind. Do you count more? Oh, current. yeah, and, and all Lycos are gone. Currently seven political yeah. seal on each side. Yeah, so, but it's exactly the same as this. But that means he needs to play it right now. What? He, he needs to play it after, 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 uh, his, his, no, his action. Yeah, he needs to cloud right now. He needs to cloud right now. Yes. There we go. Whoa, okay, okay, Shen's, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Game's not over yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's scary. That is so That's so scary. scary. <laughs> yep. We see a second for shame. Going... That's awkward. Why wouldn't that just go onto the... Um... Wait, yeah, why didn't he... Do why didn't he just do that to the... The, the, the cunning magistrate? He could have just won. <laughs> Well, I guess if you have three, so the problem is you go for, well, no, because he has the other, because Eric still has Voice of Honors. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that, that cunning magistrate absolutely needs to be for shamed right now for, yeah. for, 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 for Crane to get the win. Yeah, he, he just needed to shame Shen for playing this cunning magistrate. All right, there we go. Yeah, Shin just should not have gone into this battle. Like, there's once just no reason. There's just no yeah, reason. Like once Asami gets all strapped up, uh, um, basically exactly how how we kind of outlined. The moment you see that happen, your line is dead. You know, yeah, it's we, over. We saw core games. Yeah, Shen doesn't have duty, and even if he did, Eric has double voice. The assassination on the Kalo was so so bad because it it, it turned honored. on. Yeah, it honored. It turned on voices. Yeah. It, well, he was going for it. He wanted to use box so he could win. Uh, it's just unfortunate, like, you know, for, for Shen at this moment that Eric saw through that line and was able to suit up this Asami. I am just, like, really, really impressed at how Eric ma uh, navigated, like, this incredibly <laughs> tilting situation. Yeah. Where he's just like, yeah, that's Oh, it. and he that's did! It. Oh, my God! All the way from the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is, um, what a sequence of plays to see Crane win there, uh, in that scenario. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Eric, we saw excellent play from Eric, saw through the line, yeah, yeah. saw what he needed to do. He didn't see the cards he needed early, and even, went, I think, overcame a few minor early mistakes to ultimately came, come away with the game here right at the end. Yeah. Uh, very well played. That is just amazing. And the, cr and the, and crowd, the crowd goes wild! <laughs> Oh, oh my! Just incredibly, uh, incredibly exciting. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was sick. a great game. That was a, that was a very technical game. Yeah. So that that just goes to show you a game of L five R. Yeah. Which is about province breaks. We saw no, we saw no province breaks that entire match, and we saw one player who was, you know, so far ahead, you know, 
in one turn it went from ahead to dead. Yeah. And that's just like just how quick the game can turn on you. Yeah, and I think I love I love the game itself for you know uh, how technical uh, yeah. you know um, how, you know how in depth you really have to know the the lines of play at this level at this high level. Mm -hmm. You know, and like sure you know who doesn't love seeing large army armies crash into each other yeah, and break sure. provinces. This is just as exciting. This is this was an amazing match to watch. Uh, so ultimately we see uh, Eric uh, Eric Balius 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 win with Crane um, with a splash dragon. A little bit of Mary Moto's Fury. Mary Moto's Fury. <laughs> Cor corset Corset Dragon Cards let's for the go, win. Let's go. That is hilarious. Uh, great great game played by Johnny Shen. Yep. Just you know a few um, very sort of just major mistakes he made, there he at the he end. He made the one know? mistake right. So so L five R is about make, making less mistakes. Yeah. And then you just can't make the big mistake. Yeah. And and like Shen's deck basically gave him a whole bunch of pieces to stay ahead he, that entire game. He, he did. You know he he does have five cancels. He saw no censures ever. That's true. And he, he, uh, the turn he needed a courtier. His only courtier was Kachigo. Sure. So he couldn't play Edict. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate that some you know play mistakes the turn before came back yep. to kind of haunt him here, and then Eric was able to, to read the situations right. Excellent play uh, by the by, uh, by both by, players. By, by both, both players. And by, yeah, every, yeah. and by everyone here today. For yeah. Sure, for absolutely. Sure. Yeah, the, the whole the whole field. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go into a short break. Uh, we're gonna set up for an interview with our winner Eric, uh, and also then we're gonna do uh, an update on stream. I believe they'll they'll talk to you about the role selection yep. ceremony and, and story choices and story choices which are, which are sweet. Like, yeah. So cool. Story choices are very. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, congrats to the winner. Congrats to everyone that, that played today yeah, and yeah, over absolutely. the course of the and, whole tournament. Uh, yeah, the, we yeah. saw some excellent play congrats, all, over all the days. Congrats to you know Fantasy Flight for running this awesome event. You yeah. know everyone everyone involved has been awesome. This was a very well had, run tournament. I had a great yeah, I had yeah. a great time here. Everyone you know from from every part of the staff made the weekend awesome for us all. Absolutely. Thank you and uh, thank you FFG for allowing the players to participate. In yeah, the commentary. Yeah, yeah. This was so much yeah, fun. I, I love doing you this. Know, you know we love we love casting. You know and if you if you enjoyed hearing us flap our gums, yeah. we, you know we do it pretty much every week on you know on the Jade Throne podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know for those of you that that enjoy watching video streams stuff like that, I have my own uh, YouTube video series called No Funny Stuff. Literally, if you just type in No Funny Stuff L5R, you'll find my beautiful red haired face there. Thank you so much for joining us here. We're gonna kick it over to uh, FFG, and uh, they're gonna get into winner interview, and then the rest the rest of the winner ceremony. Thank you so much, and uh, have a great night, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We just had the Legend of the Five Rings of Card Game World Championship Final. Here is Eric Ballhouse, your new Shogun. Eric, that was an amazing game, and you are now the world champion. How are you feeling? Um, it's really great. I can't really believe it. It was um, a really intense game, so I'm still kind of cooling down. But, um I'm very happy about it, yeah. Yeah, that, that was an amazing game where it, both of you were just so close to a dishonor loss for the entire game. What, what was kind of going through your head? Was there a moment where you were like, all right, I got this now, or was it just kind of constant you know, anxiety the whole time? I think uh, during the last turn when, when he hit that, I think I knew I had it uh, because there was two cancels left in my hand uh, and double for shame plus the court games for two points of dishonor, so... I think he couldn't have anything at that point. Uh, but right before that, he played the Kachiko, and uh, I thought I was going to die. I thought he would just uh, send me home and get the air plus the unopposed for two. So it was really a roller coaster on the last turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, what's behind your decision to play Crane? Are you a Crane loyalist? Did you just kind of evaluate the meta and decide to choose that clan? What, what were you thinking there? Uh, I'm definitely a Crane loyalist, yeah. Uh, I played Crane since the release. I was planning originally to just play whatever I wanted and switch clans, but um, the Cranes have been really nice. I enjoyed a lot as a community, and um, I couldn't really play anything else. Yeah. Well, they certainly served you well. Huge congratulations to you, Thank our you. new world champion, Eric Ballhouse. Thank you, everyone. Rokugan ceremony here at the 2018 Winter Court World Championships for Legend of the Five Rings. Round of applause for everybody sticking around and making it out. We've had an amazing weekend, wouldn't you say, Tyler? Oh man, I have seen so many decks that I was not prepared to see and I love it. Just incredible play, incredible finish. Just an amazing event all around. Thank you all so much for being here. 
supporting this community, being a great part of something amazing. We love you all. <laughs> uh, so without further ado, we've got some roles to select for the clans and some story choices as well. So we're going to start with our newest Shogun. We have Mr. Eric Balhuiz. The audience loves him. They do. <laughs> Us too. So, a couple of important decisions to make right here and now for the fate and future of your beloved Crane Clan. With the first overall role selection in the 2018 World Championship Role Draft, what is your selection? So, for the Crane, I will pick Seeker of Fire. If you remember, uh, the Crane Clan champion, Doji Hotaru, is an entrusting an important mission to her husband, Doji Kuzunobu. Do you know which family you would like to send a delegate from with him when he is sent to the Fox Clan? Um, I have to pick the person, right? <laughs> I have to pick the person, right, or no? Yes. Do you know which person you want to pick? Um, so I think there's only one real choice in the Crane Clan, and that is Kakita Kaizen. There you have it. So Kakita Kaizen will be sent to protect Doji Kuzunobu on his voyage to the Fox Clan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our newest Shogun, everyone. One more round of applause. And we need a big round of applause for the person who gave us an incredible finish to the event, Mr. Johnny Shen of the Scorpion Clan. Johnny, with the second overall pick in the 2018 World Championship role selection, what do you choose? I'll choose Seeker of Air. Seeker of Air! And, and your clan champion has an important need out of you. There is dissent and ambition within the ranks of the Scorpion Clan. Which family would you like? to ensure the loyalty of the rest of the clan. Could I look at the choices? <laughs> <laughs> he is going to consult the choices. Yeah, I, I, I'm, get, I'm getting through the book. Just give me a second. All right, appease the crowd. Yogo, Yogo. All right, the audience really wants Yogo, and that is what he will go with. Thank you, Johnny. Congratulations again. And now, the clan who won last year's imperial favor, the incredible Dragon Clan, represented by Davis Kingsley. Important decision to make. Which role will the dragon now gain? We will gain Seeker of Void. The seeker of Void! And the, and the enigmatic Togashi Okuni has predicted that something will happen and it will be at Orosan Uchi, the imperial capital. Which family would you like to send a samurai from to uncover the result of that pr prophecy? I will send the Kitsuki family. An intelligent choice. Thank you, Davis. And now, 
the defenders of the wall, Pablo for the Crab Clan. Congratulations. And now, for the decision for the Crab Clan's future, which role will you select? Keeper of Water. The Keeper of Water for the Crab Clan. And there is trouble on the wall. The watchtower at Ishigashi, Ishigaki Province has not reported for a long time. Which family would you like to send a samurai from to go investigate and uncover what has happened to that province? No doubt about it. Yasuki. Of course, the Yasuki family. And now, for the Phoenix Clan, Jose Luis Senez. An important decision to make for the Phoenix. Which role will you select? Keep it of air. The keeper of air for the Phoenix. The elemental council is distraught and in tatters. Where is uh, Isawa Tadaka, the one elemental master who is missing that can still be found? Which uh, family would you like to send a samurai from to go find Isawa Tadaka? The Asako family. What? Asako family. <laughs> and now, for the Courageous Lion Clan, Philippe Andre Pelletier. <laughs> An incredible decision awaits the Lion Clan. On your word, what role will you select for them? Keeper of Earth. The Keeper of Earth for the Lion Clan. This is an important opportunity for the Imperial Legions. A Lion Samurai will be placed in charge of the Emperor's greatest army. Which family will that Samurai come from? Kitsu. The Kitsu family. And now, for the final, and some say most important clan. Some say. For the Unicorn Clan, Ben Wooten. Congratulations, Ben. An important decision. What role will the Unicorn now have? We'll have Seeker of Water. The Seeker of Water for the Unicorn. And it has been ordered by his mother that Shinjo Shono be sent outside of Rokugan on an important errand, leaving Hisumori Toride and Hisumori Mura without a leader. Which family will you appoint a samurai from to lead that village and fortress? We'll appoint them from the Moto Clan. The Moto Clan! Thank you very much. Some incredible roles selected for our incredible great clans. We have an incredible future planned for organized play for Legend of the Five Rings. Please be sure to visit our website and check out all the details recently published for the upcoming Kunshu Kotai series, Elemental Challenges, and the upcoming Elemental Championships. This was an incredible event, Tyler. I want to thank everyone again so much for being here. We enjoyed you over this weekend so much. We hope you had a fantastic time. Tyler, any last words? Just that this was an incredible event, and I am honored that you all came and had a great time. I look forward to seeing many, if not most, of you next year. And uh, go have fun. I'm looking forward to next year.
Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. This has been the Legend of the Five Rings, the card game world championships. And we ha this is the end of our 2018 November World Championships weekend. A huge congratulations to all of our new world championships for all of our games. Rune Wars Miniatures game, Justin Hare, a Game of Thrones, a card game, Leonard Paga, Legend of the Five Rings, the card game, Justin Ballhouse, Eric Ballhouse. And thank you so much. Please be sure to join us tomorrow at noon as we kick off 10 days of streaming Keyforge all the way leading up to its launch. We're going to have a series of decks and you will have the chance to choose which decks we play and we'll answer your questions live there. Thank you everybody so much for watching and tuning in. Join us next year and for now, good night.